Okay, so this is Game Dev Story. This is something I'd really wanted to jump in for a while. No joke. When I was younger and I first started playing video games, that was the whole thing. And I think it was earlier this morning, it was, I watched a story on the last shutdown, one of the last shutdowns of the biggest and oldest arcade center in Japan. Now there's a reason why I'm bringing that up and I understand this is a game development story, but when you're a game developer, you're probably working, or at least at one point in time, though it may have been the case, consoles, PC, and arcade. There's a lot of different development that can go in that sort of thing. I just wanted to see and check out what this sim was because I was reminded of the fact that I very much had wanted to work for Sega. I'm a huge Sega fanboy and I have a massive collection, I'm, a lot of it's not even on display, of almost every single uh, system they've ever released. All kinds of collectibles, things from, oh god, giveaways, rare stuff, things I managed to get off of developers, just a lot of things. And it's always been sort of a hidden gem sort of aspect for me. Um, I actually had a chance when I went on Robot Co-op to show off a few of my little rarities that I had that were available. This game seemed really interesting, so I definitely want to give it a try. And uh, I had fired it up earlier just to see kind of what the whole interface was going to be. Thank goodness, most all of it can be done with the mouse. So very happy with that. And yes, I am going to overwrite the current one. And I'm going to name my studio Rogue Studios. Just to kind of, you know, make it a little meta. So I'm going to do my best to uh, voice most of this. Hopefully this will go away. Hello! I'll be your secretary here at Rogue Studios. I look forward to working with you, whether you're an expert or this is your first time. I'll do whatever I can to help you make a best-selling game. Maybe we can even win the grand prize in the Global Game Awards. If you have any questions, just tap System on the game menu and select Manual. First of all, you'll need to hire some employees. Open the menu and select Staff, Hire. Now I've got two dudes working here and uh, this person coming here morning and so i'm taking this as the ceo over here and that's the secretary and he's saying work very ceo like and uh i got two developers there i really like the overall design look of this and they're just kind of talking back and forth here and i've noticed that they earn these uh these things here for the staff and if you go to action you, you, there's different things move seat staff train level up higher fire there's all sorts of other stuff too like info products staff uh, staff list research trophies it's rather pretty cool so i was trying to think here if i wanted to level up i have to level up with a certain amount of money to do this sort of thing so what i wanted to do is go ahead and start off with a level up only two in graphics. Okay, not terrible. Well, the salary went up a little bit. Yes, I did. That's what I'm hoping. Yep. Okay. So, gonna level up this other dude over here. Now that's my writer. So I definitely wanted to level up this one. I don't have enough research data, which is this over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back out of that. So I've got one thing going here. So what I will do is, let me see here. Oh, the latest issue of Game Guy magazine has arrived. Probably close to Game Informer. Game industry trends. Competition in the game industry continues to heat up as a newcomer Rogue Studios enters the market. Boy, if I had ever really heard that, huh? We look forward to seeing what they have in store for us. It will need to be impressive to make an impact in this crowded market. Let's hope so. All right. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and get started on a new game. Let's, uh, let's develop a new game. Now we will come up with a proposal for the game. You can change the genre and type by pressing OK buttons. So let me take a look here. You can either do a PC game or one for the Micro SX. That's going to take about a year or a month to do year and month and week to do uh, share 30 percent 
I don't want to go that deep yet. Let's let's try a more budget friendly PC game. And mm, gosh, what do I want to try? I don't want to go too crazy on the pricing, but uh, maybe an adventure is what I want to do. Yep, we're gonna do ninja. Although, believe it or not, I am really not a huge fan of the whole ninja genre. I do love ninja movies. I do. It's just not my favorite, and I'm not as nuts. Most of that was because of G.I. Joe. When they introduced the whole ninja force thing, I, it was dead to me. I, I, I just, I like my military stuff looking very military. And the ninja thing just went too far for me, I guess. And uh, let's see here. Direction. Speed, quality, research, budget. Hmm... Let's do quality. All right. That's $123,500. I get two remaining direction points. I'll put one in game world. I'm going to put the other one in polish. Yeah, that seems fine. Congratulations on starting your first game. Who should we have write the game proposal? You can use either a scenario writer on staff or hire an outside expert. So John Gameson works for me, and he's free. He can earn his salary. But I have Josh Schlackerbill here, which is 10k. And uh, you notice here, like if you've never played this game, like anything else, any of these sims, the, the uh, stats go up. Adds a little bit more to the programming. And then I got Mark Jersey over here, who's 100K. Now, he's got high program scenario, graphics and sound as well, too. But their games haven't sold as well. A new vocational school graduate. Press OK to select somebody. So this is my free guy. I kind of want to go strong on this. I, a lot of this, too, is a personal thing, just managing a budget. <laughs> so let's go with Josh Slackerville. All right. Thank you, Josh. A ninja game, I'll try and make something that's never been done before. I love this animation. This is so freaking cute. Were it this simple? It's hard enough to write graphic novels and stuff like that. And really throw yourself into that. At least for me it is. And then thinking about writing a game proposal would be like, where do I even start? I imagine there's a science and a technique like anything, but I just, I have no familiarity with it at all. That's a bizarre combination. I wonder how this will turn out. You and me both, buddy. So as we go along here, we've started development on our new game. The icons floating up from each staff member's computer represent game points, which are added to fun, creativity, bugs, etc. Press up or down on the main screen to scroll the information bar and press OK button to display detailed information. So down here in the corner, you can see where the new is. This is this is how far the game is coming along, the hype, fame, the bugs that are in there, all this other stuff. And then the ratings for the different aspects of the game, from the artistic stuff to the programming and all that. And it's kind of cool to watch all this happening in real time. Now I do wonder, let's see your staff. Do I have enough to hire? Oh yeah, I need to hire somebody for sound. I'm just gonna go word of mouth for the secretary, so there's that. I kind of wonder, the results of the word of mouth from the other day are here. Wow, we got two applicants, who should we hire? You can see past records by moving the scroll bar down. Big. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's, for those of you that are Star Wars fans already recognize the play here. Biggs Porkins, uh, Biggs and Porkins both having died in the battle on the Death Star uh, in the trench runs. Uh, Porkins, I believe, was the first one killed, maybe, and then Biggs, of course, is Luke Skywalker's childhood friend. Wow, that's funny. Okay, I, you know, I think you got the job just based on your name. Gilly Bates. 
Ah, oh, man. Okay, program scenario graphics sound has a valedictorian at Harvard. <laughs> I love donuts for dessert. <laughs> oh, man. See, like, I'm enough of an idiot that I'm thinking, oh, I probably should hire one or the other one, but I've got to at least give this to Biggs. Just, it's the name, it's the Love's Donuts for dessert. I'm willing to take a, a chance here. It's been my dream to work for Rogue Studios. I promise you won't regret this. And I'm going to go ahead and hire uh, Gilly Bates here. Let's just, just go for it. Let's just go for it. Thank you. I'll do my best. Oh, the racing genre was unlocked. Interesting. Okay, so bugs are certainly... I've got, I'm up to six bugs. I can either choose a designer on my staff or outsource it to an outside specialist. Gilly Bates is here. That is free. Comic fan is 10. Now, here's the thing. So we're talking about the visuals, right? High program, high scenario, low graphics and low sound. Steve Kingley, high graphics and sound. <laughs> Jake Kirby. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm going to play a new face, but very talented. Oh, my God. Nostalgia is a bitch. I'm being pulled into this hardcore. I'm glad this is virtual. But honestly, like when, like when I was younger and even sometimes today, I struggle with budgeting money to get things out like I would like. And that's a lot of that's my own fault. I mean, I'm always looking for a deal and things like that. And this game is like tapping and all, all this sort of stuff. But in this case, it's imaginary money. It's like, like Steve Kingley, the cheap... The cheaper part of me is like, well, you should do good for that. Like, the characters are a specialty. But then this guy's a new face, but very talented. Uh, I'm certain. I'm just going to go with this one to save the money now. It's not under work for you. I'm sure I can come up with some designs that are just perfect for a ninja game. Designing my graphics. You better design quick, man. Oh, Lord. Because I still need to save money for the music. Oh, somebody's on fire. Okay, oh, that's going up good. Halfway through game development. Oh, I like that. That's climbing good. Honestly, the, you know, like, I know that, like, real game development houses were probably a little bit different from this, but... Oh, the beta version of the current game is now complete. We should start paying attention to the sound now. Agreed. Let's see where that goes. You can either choose a sound engineer on your staff or outsource it to an outside specialist. Mm. His sound is only seven? Music fan, okay, 28, 10K. <laughs> Mozart. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, this one I'm actually going to splurge on the money because I'm a huge fan of whenever a game really has fantastic audiovisual aspects, yes, but the audio is the only thing that can just transport you completely. It's like watching a, vi a video on YouTube. I don't know about you guys, but I will struggle through something that maybe isn't the highest resolution, but if the audio is off, forget it. I'm, I'm done. I understand. I'll try to compose some music that will match a ninja game. You go for it there. It's getting higher. It's getting higher. This is getting... Oh, man. Okay. Still got... Almost just a little over 10% more to go. Okay, and then at some point in time, we're going to have to start debugging like crazy. The game under development is now complete. Now you will start debugging process. Each time you fix a bug, you'll get research data, which you can use to level up your staff, which is good. Also, on the game information screen, you have the option to ship a game without fixing all the bugs. I'm not Bethesda. I'm not doing that. 
Bye. Bye. I want to know what hours these guys were. I think it would have been really funny if the outdoors reflected the passage of time. You know, going from day to night, at least to some degree. And also, the CEO and the secretary never leave. It's kind of crazy. I hope, you know, I wonder if there's an option to upgrade the surroundings and stuff. I wonder how that goes. Almost, oh lord. Okay, our company's first game is finally complete. There's a lot of bugs. The game seems to have good fun. Excellent. Hmm. I don't know how well people accept such a strange combination. Oh, okay. Well, it's an adventure with ninjas. Let's ship it. Oh, no. Oh, it needs work technically. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, rethink the combination. Uh, it went right to the trash. Well, that's heartbreaking. Uh, let's see how this works. Those aren't great scores, but maybe the players will... Oh, maybe the players won't mind. Let's hope it sells. Yeah, let's hope it does. It's like making art, literally. It, this is a type of art you're making. Game 1 is on now on sale. Our company's game is finally on sale. Our fans are slowly increasing around the country. We should try advertising to get our name out there. One of the reasons I saved my money. Ooh. Okay, 21 fans. That's good. That's nice. Try to action advertising. Let's do magazine ads. Okay. Oh, nice. Fifty four people. And let's go ahead and throw some online ads. Well, that get it. Could you imagine gaining followers like this? It probably does work to some degree, but not like this. Well, at least I don't think it does. All right, it's good enough for now. Sixteen thousand seven hundred sixty-seven units. Its sales ranking was twenty-eight. Good or bad? Well, we made it on the charts at least. Let's hope our next game does better. I'm not complaining. Twenty-one, twenty-two thousand units. Oh God, the money's coming in. That's great. Okay, cool. I know you're bored. All right, so let's go ahead and develop a new game. And dev cost is 124K. I kind of, no, I don't, I can't do that yet. I just, I can't do that. So another PC game. We're going to do... Let's do table and historical and leave the quality there. So I've got no points here. Okay, game number two will be a historical table game. Who do you want to write the proposal? Okay, so this is fairly cyclical. I can see this. I don't think I, uh, I don't think I really want him to write that. But uh, well, he is a writer. He is a writer, level one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take a. Understood. Once I get warmed up, I'm sure I can make a great table game. Okay. A historical game. Huh. Then I should do this. How's that? I don't know. I don't know how that is. At last, it's time to start game development. Good luck. Well, good. Nobody's uh, really freaked out. That's that's cool. It's pretty hype. Wow, I've just learned that Sega is going to be announcing a new console. I love that it's a play on Sega. Let's go to the press conference right away. Sanga release announcement. Greeting, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we would like to announce our new console, the Exodus. Oh God, all it makes me wish is that Sega was releasing a new console. We will be releasing a lots of fun games. Stay tuned, everyone. The initial shipment is planned to be 990,000 units. I see they've released a new console. After we've built up some capital, we should try getting a license. Yeah, no joke, right? 
Excuse me, Biggs Porkins. I'd like to try increasing the creativity of our game and development. Could I have your permission to try? Mm, yeah, sure, why not? Let's, let's give that a shot. You know, I don't... Uh, I'm gonna... See, that drops it down to 20%. I just wonder what this is gonna do. Maybe this is... Uh, no, 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 I don't like... I'm a gambling man, I don't like doing that. We'll do 15. Oh god, okay. I don't know how much that would have actually played into it, whether or not it succeeded or not. Oh, sweet. Okay, creativity went up by 12. Awesome. Thanks, I appreciate you giving me a chance. I can't wait for this game to be finished. No problem, Biggs. Four bugs found. Could you imagine if in real life you caught on fire because you were being creative? The alpha version of the current game is not finished. Time to really start working on the graphics. Who should we put in charge of character design? Now, I've got Gilly Bates. I kind of need to up their power at some point in time, but I'm not too concerned there. And then there's Steve Kingley here for 10k. And Jake Kirby. So, they seem to be sticking around. Gonna go with this one. It's an honor to work for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Do a good job, man. Don't fail me. Alright, designing graphics. This is almost like making a purchase order. Game 1 is now off the market. 49,489 units were sold. That's weird, because you'd think that maybe, you you know, there should be an option to make like a classic version that sells at like one-third the price or something. Like the greatest hits line from PlayStation or something. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see here. No, oh, bye bye. See you all later. It, this is almost like playing The Sims. The beta version of the current game is not complete. We should start paying attention to the sound now. You are correct on that. And that is something else that I am not going to. Yeah, let's do Mozart again. Do your job, man. Okay, that was pretty good. Not terrible. Excuse me, Big Porkins. I'd like to try increasing the sound of our game and development. Could I have your permission to try? Okay, now here's where... <laughs> yes, and I'm going to give you the same amount of research data. Please don't fail. Okay, I'd hate to see what would happen if it failed. You'd lose 50k. Alright, I can dig that. Yeah, you're welcome, Porkins. Alright, alright. Latest issue of Game Guy magazine has arrived. One million units sold. The recently released Exodus has proven to be quite popular, reaching one million units sold in a very short period of time. But consoles must continue to sell in order to be considered a success. In many cases, a hit game prompts people to purchase a system. Indeed, a single hit game can greatly change a console's fortunes. This is very true. The game under development is now complete. All right, let's see here. Now we will start the debugging process, although it's possible to release a game before all the bugs are fixed. Never. I don't want that. Don't want to do that. I wonder if they me meant for this to take place here in the United States. Our company's game number two is finally complete. This game seems to have good fun. Excellent. Yeah, let's see what the critics say. All right. I'm new records on creativity and sound. 
kind of wish I could name these games. Ship. Oh, good but limited appeal. Not bad, but not great. Oh my god. It went right in the trash. Uh, they worked hard on it. That's that's a non-reaction. That's kind of passive-aggressive. All right. Scores are pretty low, but not everyone listens to the critics. Let's just see if it sells. Oh my god. Game of oh, hey, 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 hey. We're climbing. We're climbing. Let's advertise online ads. Man, the time is flying by. Year two, month two, week three. I don't want to take any more chances there. Game number two's first week sales have just come in. Sales total 22,096 units. Its sales ranking was number 26. We made it on the charts. Let's hope our next game does better. I went it by two levels. Wow. Oh, well, 30,000 units. 40, 40,000? 50, 50, 55, 55, 60, 65. Yeah, I know you're bored. I'm trying to watch the money here. So let's, let's get started. Oh, hey. Awesome. We may actually make it to 50K. How weird would that be? All right, let's get started with one. Start developing a game. Um, is, is it crazy enough to try it now? Oh, Nippon. Sure, let's try it. Yes. Hello, thank you for applying to develop for the Micro SX. Hmm, it looks like you've got enough capital. All right, I'll give you a license and a development kit. I hope you'll develop some games that will promote our console. Good luck. Congratulations, you can now develop games for the Micros, for the Microx X SX. But man, try saying it that many times. Um, okay, cool. So, hit okay. And with this one, what do we want to do? Wow. Okay, let's go with, let's go with table. Historical. Now let's do pirate this time. And keep it on quality. Oh, all right. No points there. Yeah, we're gonna leave that alone. Pirate table game. Who do you want to write the proposal? Oh, oh my God, this is gonna get harsh really quick. Um. Fort Mark Jersey. You get it. I just came up with a great idea for a pirate game. I really think I can do a good job on this one. Let's hope so, man. Let's hope so. Not bad if I do say so myself. Oh, Lord. That genre and type don't go together at all. I hope it sells. What kind of... M oh, my God. That is just depressing. All right, all right, all right, we're starting the game. Hey, just chill, just chill. A little bit of money still coming in, not much. Uh, the fiscal year just ended. Normally, we'd have to pay our pay your staff salary at this point. However, this year, the government is going to pay to encourage game development of the game industry. Oh, my God, that's how you know you're playing a fantasy game. You'll have to pay starting next year, so make sure you have enough cash available. Well, thank you for that. Could you imagine the boon in real life if that's what happened to your business? Because the game's direction and genre match, table has increased to level two. Oh, well, that's good. We've also discovered some new tricks, giving us additional two points to allocate to the game's direction. Fantastic. So honestly, like, just getting back to that, like the whole aspect that something like that. Oh, my game two is off the market. 63,293 units were sold. Oh, John Gameson has a question. But try increasing the sound of our game development. Can I have permission to try? Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, man. Let's just go for it. I love taking crazy risks like this. Oh, my God. It failed. You had one job. Oh, dude. What? 
You increased my bugs, man. I'm sorry, I'll do my best to make up for this. Yeah, you will. Somebody light him on fire. Yeah, I know, I know. I We're getting a little on capital, yeah. Oh, you shouldn't have told me that. It looks like we're going to have to dip into our emergency fund of 150k. This is like when you play Caesar 3 and the and this and Caesar gets mad at you because you've blown all your things and he sends you like a little bit more money. If you run out of money while developing a game, you may even have to cancel the project. I don't want to do that. This is all the money we have, so if you find yourself running low, select develop contract to get a job. I think that's the next thing we're going to do. All right, because we're... <laughs> okay, start reworking the graphics. Um, I'm going to put her in charge of that. Yeah, you better, because everything's depending on you now. The music isn't very high either. Art's going up a little bit. Let's see here, can I train? somebody. Why is their power so low? I don't have enough research to do that. Oh my god, I'm almost up to 20 bugs. Hello, I'm a representative of items and things. <laughs> What? He's a salesman. <laughs> These items we sell are very useful and they are priced accordingly. Boost items require research data to use, but it can be used any number of times. Right, right. That fun boost? Okay. Oh my god, I don't even remotely have the money for that. Creativity boost. I mean, that's great, man, but... Uh... Okay. Use research data to boost sound. Find bugs. Help motivate. Uh, oh, man. What, 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 Dead Bull? <laughs> and it looks like a bottle of, like, cough syrup from the 1970s. I changed one staff member's job. Interesting. I don't foresee that. This might be hand. Oh, I have one in stock. Oh. Okay, for now, no, I don't need you. Yeah, I, I didn't want to buy nothing from me anyway, sir. Latest issue of Game Guy Magazine has arrived. We here at Game Guy Magazine have recently succeeded in interviewing a famous game developer. According to him, the best way to increase the number of game types you have available is to train your employees. Your employees' job types and levels also affect the types of games they can discover. From what we understand, scenario writers are particularly good at discovering new game types, so you may want to try training yours. That one's not terrible information okay so do I have items what I'm using that use the dead bull the energy of all your employees has been restored oh man what was in that stuff you'll also receive more research data Oh, they're all leaving? You're leaving now and I'm giving you your dead bulls? Oh, hey, there we go. Two and a half years we've been open. This is such a nice, chill game version to play. The beta version of the current game is not complete. All right, paying attention to the sound. Still not bad on that. <sighs> Let's go with you on this one. I'm willing to spend the money on that. I remember one time, like, what are you saying? I'll oh, try and compose something you like. I remember one time using that verbiage with a client years ago saying, well, I'll try my best. And the look they gave me and they were like, you mean you'll do your best, right? You're a professional. It was like some serious, like, oh, yeah, it was just, I didn't like that. That interaction was like, ooh, am I being gaslit? <laughs> Well, I didn't really know at the time, but yeah, I, I certainly was. It's really weird. Ah, oh, Biggs, what do you need now? Of course you would. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, God, don't you fail. Don't you fail. You failed. 
I don't believe it, dude. Are you serious? Oh my god, look at the bugs. We're gonna be developing this thing forever. This thing's gonna have to sell so damn well. Yeah, yeah, you are gonna have to make up for that. Monsieur Biggs. Oh my god. You better start debugging. I'm not. I'm, we're just gonna find all the bugs. Let's get rid of those bugs. Please keep going. Get rid of all the bugs. Where are you going, man? We aren't done here yet. Oh, God. I'm starting to sound like Elon Musk. <laughs> That's what it's like to sound like a jackass. Oh, man. I mean, at least I was able to give him a dead bull for whatever that was worth. Red Bull is disgusting. I remember that was a big thing. Like, I've worked for a lot of different bars and places. And, they, you know, when you buy liquor and things, they, sell, they send soda and Red Bull a lot of times free or at very low cost with the shipments. Sort of a lot of research data, haven't you? The number next to the floppy disk in the upper and the icon in the upper left is your research data. Yeah, I know. Use it to level up your staff or improve the game you're developing. Yes. I'm just going to wait to see what's going on here. I'll do that afterward. We're so close. Just find those last freaking bugs, man. Come on, Porkins, get in there. You can do it. I don't want to name all my workers what I want to name them. Our company's game number three is finally complete. This game seems to have good fun. Excellent. You said that last time, but this combination is bad enough that it might affect sales. Wait. That's like, this is almost like talking to people that have no creative vision or a willingness to take a chance on things. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm going to pay for some advertising. Ship. Uh, oh, Lord, try again. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, rethink the combination. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. 16. Seriously, these comments from these people are like reading reactions on something new that comes out. Like when the Ghostbusters trailer came out or something. The, the, the amount of vitriol and anger in those things. Like the game, this game is really reflecting it really well. And the pixelated art design is nice and simplistic. There's not a lot of action going on except for the animation of the characters. So that's really cool. And, and the cutscenes in between. Uh, all right, let's get it out there. Oh, hey, looks like it's doing good. Let's uh, let's run some advertising here. Let's do some online ads. Growth since last year, plus 41. Hey, more people. I got 177 fans. That's great. 15, 16. Oh, Lord, that's low. 25. No, wait, that's higher. It's not too bad we can do better. Still, we're at least we're on the charts. Yeah, now I want to know what the final number is going to be. So let me go in here. Action. Staff. I think I want to train. Who do I want to train? Definitely you. Let's just do... Reading. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do that one. John Gameson has gone up. Mystery type unlocked. Cool. Oh, that makes me want a pirate mystery game. That would be rad, wouldn't it? Okay, let's see here. Biggs, what do you need? I want to get everyone up a little bit. I'm going to train Gilly as well, too. Oh, you know what? Power minus three, minus two. No, I'm not gonna do that. Let's do 50k for that, for a game. Exploration type. All right. And anybody else like that's four. Yeah, let's get Biggs up there. Do a stroll. <laughs> you get all sparkly like you're a, a vampire from Twilight. 
All right, that's good enough for now. Okay, cool. So we're up to almost 40,000 units. Oh man, that is nice. Oh, I got a family. Oh, that is rad. Oh, hello, Bobby Anderson. Bobby, Bobby Anderson. Let's see what Mr. Anderson here has to say. Hello, I'm a high school student and I love Rogue Studio games. In fact, I've been playing them so much I failed my last math test. That's that's not good. I'm really looking forward to what you're going to put out in the future, so please work hard on them. By the way, my favorite game is um, game number three. I'm trying. That's what I named these games. It's not too hard to ask. Uh, that's cool. Rogue Studio's fan base throughout the country is growing. Man, that'd be some real things to hear. I say that, and I was really super happy. I got one more follower on my YouTube channel. Weird to say, right? But thank you, whoever you were, because like the the notifications aren't showing that anymore for me. Growth since year, last year in 94. Oh, that's rad. Okay. I don't know if I'll hit 50,000, but that's really cool. So we have 316,000, 23, it's going, oh, 50,000 units. Oh my God, I'm really happy about that. All right. You're going to have to develop something, man. Let's, uh... Oh, wait. No, no, no. no. Yeah, let's do a new game. For Micro SX. And we are going to change this. We're going to do trivia this time. No, we're going to do educational. Let's do something educational. And we're going to do... What do we want to do? Let's try animal. I'm gonna keep it quality. I'm gonna sink half my budget into that. I did get two points. So let's go here to niche appeal. And one in game world. <sighs> Who do I want to write the proposal? Okay, so John Gameson isn't bad. For a, whoa, no, I ain't got the money for you, Sid Hightower. Oh, is that like Sid Meier? That's pretty rad. Now, we're, we, you know what? We're just gonna keep this in house. Let's just see how this goes. I just came up with a great idea for an animal game. I really think I can do a good job on this one. Does it involve a crossing? I, I, this is the reason why I wonder, like, you know, and it's strange because I kind of have a similar aspect when it comes to, you know, working in comics and illustration, you know, coming up with worlds like this, but this is different, like being part of a team. I think this is fulfilling a, a big thing. At last, at last, it's time to start game development. Good luck. For me, honestly, it's, this has been something I've talked about this many times before. When I was younger, I really wanted to be part of a group that made products and made things and got them out there. And there, even over the times that I worked at different places, that just never really happened. Not, you know, because I never really went after the gaming stuff or, or and I never really worked in the comic industry. Excuse me, newbie Ownerton. I'd like to try increasing the creativity of our game and development. Could I have your permission to try? You have failed me before. But what's life without a little bit of a gamble? You just earned a new pair of socks there, newbie. Yeah, well done indeed. Wow, that is quite a bit on there. All right, cool. Thanks, I appreciate you giving me a chance. Can't wait for this game to be finished. Neither can I. Because uh, we only have so much money. So everything's going to have to be free. I'm trusting all you guys to do the right thing. What happened? Why, why, why did my bugs go up so high? The alpha version of the current game is now finished. Okay, let's work on the graphics. Who should we put in charge of the character design? Oh my god. Let's find somebody with some decent graphics here. Oh no. I gotta I gotta stay in house. I got Whoa! Quinn Harley. Ah, <laughs> oh, has sold millions of comics. Color me envious. You know what? This should really be switched. Jake Kirby and Quinn Harley, but whatever. It's just nice to see the homages. Let's just let's just go with you, Gilly. Don't please just don't fail me now. 
So it's an animal game, huh? I can't guarantee it'll sell, but a job's a job. Oh my god. That's what I want to hear. Now I'm feeling like whenever, you know, you're like, I'm relying on you to save this. Good lord. That's just horrifying. Uh, action. Use item. I don't have any items. Where's, where's my guy? Where's the guy selling me stuff? See, like, I, and now I'm getting that effect in my mind where I'm like, oh, I should have saved that for now. I should have saved that item for now. Like when you're playing Final Fantasy or something and you're saving up all those things and you beat the boss and you're like, you still got like a wagon full of things. Like, Just in the event there's an extra bag, bad boss or something. I love that these CRTs are as big as they are. This is clearly development in like the late 80s, early 90s sort of effect going on. Yeah, let's pay attention to that sound. I'm gonna hire a music fan. Yeah, give me a job there while you're in your bathrobe. God, I love the little sprites. It is funny to me that the, the default for so many control pads is the Nintendo Entertainment Systems one. Oh my god, 16 bugs. I mean, we're getting there. At least, you know, there's some aspects in here that are really nice. No, 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 no. Oh god, why? <sighs> yes. I'm gonna go ahead and dump extra stuff into this just because, like, I know you guys will earn this back. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, look at this, I broke my chair, I broke my chair, I got so upset. <laughs> God, <laughs> so many bugs on that thing. Uh, I was so close, but I guess I'm just not good enough. I'm sorry for the troll I caused. No, 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 no you're, you're not sorry yet. Oh my God. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Going back through the, the bugs, we should be able to earn more of these floppy disks back. Yeah, it's under, it's, it's not complete. Let's find these bugs. Oh, I'm not releasing anything. All right. Fiscal year is almost over. Oh, good lord. At the end of March. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. I really am trying here. Got like two months to make good on this before everyone just leaves. Oh my god. This is like down to the wire. This is like crazy. At this point, you're just like, cut off all of the paper plates and cups. There's no free napkins. <laughs> wow, I've just learned that Nintendo is going to be announcing a new console. Of course they are. Let's go to the press conference right away. We don't have the money for that. Can't we just watch the virtual one? Nintendo release announcement. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, you guys look identical to the Sega people. Today we'd like to announce our new console. The IES. Wow, that, that's actually kind of cute looking. We will be releasing lots of fun games. Stay tuned, everyone. The initial shipment is planned to be 1,800,000 units. We're going to ship a lot of those. It looks like they're really trying to dominate the market. We should try and get on the action, too, says the secretary. Okay, it's almost time to pay. Oh, my God. Let's get this thing released, please. Oh, my God. With the release of the new IES from Nintendo, there are now four game consoles on the market. Recent studies have shown that video games are the most wanted item among children, and many companies are working to enter the market. The game market is about to become a lot more crowded. Wow, this is really building up to like something like the console wars when that was happening. That's nuts. I got one more week here. You guys better get these bugs done because you're uh, no one's going to get paid here in a minute. Oh my god, I am seriously freaking out. Oh my god, this is a trip. Just, oh god, just please get the game released. It's week four. Oh god. Oh my god, just 
just get the last two. Come on. I gotta pick up. Yep. Okay, our company's game number four. I didn't, my hands were actually sweating. I'm like, I'm gonna make bills. I'm, gonna, I'm taking this shit personally. <laughs> the game seems to have good creativity. Excellent. Okay, great. Oh God, ship, ship, ship now. Oh, shut up. Try again. Uh, close, try harder. Uh, why'd they do that? Oh my God, that, that, this one right here, why'd they do this to us? That is like every YouTube nightmare comment you come across. The scores are pretty low, but not everyone listens to credits. Let's just see if it sells. <sighs> All right. Sales are happening. 29,000. 16. All right. Advertise, 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 advertise. Let's drop some on online. All right, that's it. That's as crazy as I can go right now. Forty-four thousand, forty-six thousand, forty-nine, fifty-two. We gonna hit it seventy? Oh, I'd love it if we hit seventy thousand. Oh my God, we're doing it! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now the end of the year, fiscal year. One hundred thousand dollars has been deducted from your funds to pay for your staff salaries. Honestly, the scary part is. It's almost where you need to earn about 100k to really have a life, be able to vacation, and do a lot more. Granted, very frugal people could do that sort of thing, but if you really wanted to live the life that a lot of online stuff portrays, you would almost need to make that much. And honestly, if you know your skills and you're making really good games, there's no reason you shouldn't be paid this, but that's a whole nother discussion. Oh, well, that's nice. Staff pay taken from funds. Okay, that's that's good. It would be harder on a month-to-month -month thing, but radio advertisements you purchase seem to have been popular. Our fan base has increased slightly overall. That's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right. Let me... I need, I need to train you. Let's invest in you. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And we'll do it one more time, just so you can handle the writing. Nice. Okay, much better. Much, much better. All right, that's good. That's good. I'll go back. Anybody else now while I'm doing this? You really need your graphics going up, don't you? Chest type unlocked. Interesting. We might do that next. All right. Let's do. Let's. You start at this time. Let's go ahead and develop a brand new game. Same platform. Actually, I wonder. Whoa. Oh my god. It's a lot. All right. That's fine. Let's stick with this one. Let's go ahead and do... And do table. Hmm. Exploration, keep quality on. Actually, let's switch this one up. Let's do... Let's do research on this one. I have no points here, so we'll go there. Who do I want to write this proposal? Um, let me see here. I mean, his scenario went up to 39, which is pretty darn good, really. I'm not, I'm not hating on that. Yeah, let's just use you. You're free. Let's 
see how much uh, my investment pays off here. I remember's already. That's good. Mm -hmm. At last, it's time to start game development. Good luck. I'm glad nobody has that ghoulish look they had. That was pretty terrifying. Already? Already. Game 4 has sold over 100,000 units. Congratulations. That is so freaking rad. That makes me really happy. Let's see here. Can I level up anybody? Oh yeah, I need to level him up. Okay. That's enough for now. <laughs> Excuse me, noob. I'd like to try increasing the fun of our game and development. Could I have your permission to try? You know, I hate that I'm such a gambling addict. Let's just try it. I'm gonna dump everything into this. Go. Oh, thank goodness. Knowing that that can fail is just like, oh, I don't want this to fail. Where's my cheat code? Oh, man. So what I do wonder is if I pay for the advertising ahead of time, what that would do. So we go here, go to action, advertising. If I go ahead and pay for some magazine ads now, there we go. Okay, so there's not a lot going on there. A little bit more than that. Okay, growth since last year, 68%. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Game 4 is off the market. We sold over 100,000 units. Man, just even the mental capacity in my brain to be able to be like, hey, I, I want to sell over 100,000 of anything is just mind-boggling. Maybe I just have low expectations of myself. Hello! I'm a traveling salesman. Can I interest you in any items today? Ah, uh, if I had the money. That's what it comes down to, isn't it? I'm definitely buying that. Ah, uh, yes, the Dead Bull. Thank you. I wonder if you can buy more than one. Yeah, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Thank you for your business. Oh, my God. Okay. Alpha version of the game is currently now finished. Time to really start working on the graphics. Who do I want in charge? Let me see who has... Uh, you know... Oh, God, that, that, would, that would just be so rad, but I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just can't do it. I'm going to have to do this one. I hope so. Paid $10,000 for you, man. That'd be a nice budget, honestly, quite frankly. I, and I've done... I don't think... I, no, I've never done a job that was $10,000 that was like a contract job like that. I've never actually done that. Imagine the pressure if you worked and every single time you were doing something that increased, those were the icons that flew up, because I'd probably have bugs flying left and right. I'd rarely ever catch fire. It sounds like I have low self-esteem. I'm just being realistic about thinking back to all the times that I've ever worked anywhere. I found out recently that a lot of times my anxiety and general social issues I have will were a huge reason for why I felt so out of place in a lot of areas that I worked. All right, beta's complete. So we need music. Music. I don't want to take the, the Wolfgang Smith. Let's go with you, Beethoven. Another soundtrack. I'm not sure I can give this one my best. Oh my god, stop. Two times, finish. Ugh, not so great. Alright, there's that. Send out a little bit more advertising. A little bit more, not much. Ugh, that's not great. Alright, let's go back. See, here I am again, once again, putting myself under the knife. Game just completed. We have 17 bugs to take care of. Mm 
Mm-hmm. I w- who would release a game with bugs built in still? Like, I know how I am with my own artwork and anything I create, and I really, really strive for the best that it possibly can be. I know that perfection is impossible, but I really do strive to see, like, well, you know, what what is the best end, end result for this? And that, this would just drive me completely batty if I couldn't fix things down to where they are. Two bugs to go. All right, game number five. I, I re- that's one criticism I have for this so far. Is I, aside from the day and night, things not changing outside or not, they're not being a snack machine, which is very Des- Dennis Nedry of me. I kind of wish that we could name the game, the games. The game seems to have good fun. Excellent. I want to know why the secretary feels the need to weigh in on this. My fun is up on new record. Okay, that's great. Everything else is low though, so. Er. Good lord, you guys are like the negative four. I got paid to play it, so... Oh my god, you're a jerk. Those aren't great scores, but the players won't mind. Let's hope it sells. Oh my god. Alright, let's see how we start making some money. Any units moving out? 14,000, 17,000, 20, 24, 27, 30. Oh, this is... What is my sales ranking at 33,000? 15, higher. I'm getting closer and closer to the top 10. That's really cool. All right. So far, 60,000 units. It's actually climbing up quite a bit. That's nice. That's really, really, really nice. Wow, that's the... That's quite a bit of money. <laughs> All right, whose turn is it to start? Uh, let's go to you, sir. Let's go to... Let's do a contract. Interesting. So let's do... Yep, yep, yep. Contracting details. Oh, interesting. So there's a couple of them. We need a special sound effect for when the heroes transform our animated show. 11 weeks. Ah, oh, this is pretty rad. Let's just do this one. Okay. Well, let's, let's do that. We do it in nine weeks. Hopefully I can slam through this. Do in eight weeks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We are definitely... Just want to get some cash in here. All right, all right. Game five is off the market. Ah, oh, only 86,000 units were sold. Right, you know what? I'm not complaining. I sold 86,000 more units than I never would have sold. I don't care if I'm selling three comic books. Uh, you know, it's three comic books. The uh, work for the game comic job is not complete. We should submit it to the client. Yes, we will. Well done. I hope to work with you again. Yes. I'm going to accept that stuff. All right. So let's go to you. Let's do some more contract work here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and go with this one. Yep. I'm going to have to build some money up. I think I want to do that before I keep on releasing more stuff. Ooh, that music one. That's going to be difficult. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The creativity is just great. We just learned that Nintendo is going to be announcing a new console. Oh, my God. What? I don't have time for this. You think they would put something cool up on the screen or something? The Game Kid. Okay, that's pretty hilarious. We were releasing lots of fun games. No joke. Stay tuned, everyone. God, it's like you're molded from the same thing that every company uses for their PR, de- you know, department. It's the first portable game console, I bet it'll be especially popular with younger players. Probably. Well, please, let's get this done. Let's get this done. Let's do this. Oh, I'm getting so nervous right now. We're down to eight, eight weeks. I think we're going to make it. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you going? Let's do this. Whoa! Home slice there. Nice. Oh my god, that feels good. 
Alright. Yeah, everyone had to leave after that, like, I'm done. I'm Morty. Since you're the first one back in the office, you get to choose the next contract. Alright. Contract. Let's go. Whoa, that's interesting. Pinball, maybe. Oh, that would be... Oh, that's so rad. Uh, I can do this. I can do that. Ten weeks. All right, let's. Everyone's coming back in. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's go to action, item, and uh, I'm gonna use this one time. Yeah. All right, let's get through this. Fantastic. Eight weeks to get that music up, though, guys. Come on, don't let me down here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's a nice jump. Five, five, two, right there. Nice. Nice. This is killing it. This is awesome. This is so weird. <laughs> it really is reminding me a lot of The Sims. Because I can't even believe it's already been like an hour now that I've been playing this. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I've been trying to like go along and talk while I'm going along and just thinking through my head. It's about time to move to a different office and expand the size of your company. Yes. Oh my god, that's so cool. I'm going to a new office. Oh, I can hire more people. Oh, that's not more stressful. Too much is happening. <laughs> Rogue Studios is riding the wave of its recent success by moving to larger offices. Their new headquarters are said to be twice as big as the old ones, and their desks, chairs, and other furnishings are all brand new. Big Porkins, one of their employees, had this to say about their new digs. It's a wonderful office. I can't wait to come here every day and start work making great games. Thanks to the article, Rogue's fan, Rogue Studios' fan base was throughout the country has increased. So rad. Cool. Very cool. All right, where are we at on this? We got four weeks to finish this contract. Morning, morning. Oh my god, this is really cool. Now we got flat panel LCDs and we flew forward like five years in the future. Okay, submit it to the client. An excellent job. Just what I would expect from Rogue Studio. See you again. Wow, and it was doing three weeks. Over to deliver. Look at him. He's even got a five o'clock shadow now. I actually really like this. I dig these digs so much. All right, your profit. So let's, um, Biggs, you pick the next one here. Let's do another contract. Ooh. Let's just do tool development right now. Yeah, I think I could do that. Okay. God, this is, this is like the perfect chill game, but like, I like that it's not taking forever now. Granted, in game years, it's been four years, two months, and four weeks. But it's so nice to play something like this, like, I don't know, I can't even explain it. It, it It's like, when I used to play The Sims, and I'm talking the original Sims, the first Sims, and then every, I had every, I still have them all, all the expansions, and I think, I think I can still run them on my Windows 98 machine over here. I liked it, but I, but it was one of those things where it was just generic enough that I didn't really appreciate it for what it was at the time. It's just really strange. Contract moves to GI Town mascots. Uh, little links on that one. I could get lost doing this stuff, man, compared to like throwing myself out there. But you know what? It's also like, this is really pretty cool because, um, you know, see, now I wasn't worried about my staff's salaries. It's really weird to think about how, like, you know, contract work versus doing, you know, something where you're putting yourself really out there. You take that more personally. And for some reason, here I'm like, oh, I just got to make the deadlines by week nine. Um, uh, we're starting to lose our fans. Oh, no, 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 my fandom. All right, fine, 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 fine. Let's get this out there. Let's get this going. Come on, we got eight more weeks. We're almost done. All right. <sighs> okay. 
You got a fair number of younger fans. If you take advantage of this, you may be able to expand your entire fan base. There's a new generation of elementary schoolers now, but it looks like our games aren't very popular with them. We'll have to correct that. Ooh, okay, we're going down. We're going down. Okay, that's fine. Let's finish this up. Got seven weeks to finish this. So that's interesting. You end up taking on jobs like this, and of course, yeah, you don't. You aren't as popular because it's taking too long. I think about that with Play Dead Studios. Like a lot of people give them crap, but like they keep a real low profile until they release a the game. Oh, salesman, I need you. Yes, you can. Give me the thing. The thing. The thing. Thing. I need that. I need that thing. Yes, that. Gonna buy that. Whoa! 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 Why are you 200k now? Just because I. I'm in a different area? Is that why you're doing that? It's great, great, man. Looks like I paid for this. I say that as I'm literally waiting on some clientele to pay me. That's the weirdest thing, being a freelancer. You could make money, and then depending on what's going on or waiting on a job, like, you could be waiting on hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to eventually come. You're just sitting, like, with a certain amount of money in your checking account going, am I going to be okay? Yeah, so this hits home really hard. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and develop a brand new game. Let's go back to PC. Let's do... Educational. Let's do... What do I want to do here? Let's do Pirate. Educational, and I want to do. Now we'll keep it in the research. All right, no points here to spend. Love the pirate games. I've been watching uh, Our Flag Means Death, so that's why it's on my brain. You can write scenarios pretty good, so I'm gonna stay with my man, my in-house dude. You better. <laughs> we haven't done anything in forever, man. You've been sitting here talking about this. I wish we could almost talk smack to these people. Like, what is wrong with you? At last, it's time to start game development. Good luck. All right. Already bugs are being found. Let's train some people here. God, a museum would be insane. Alright, let's see here. Who else? Kind of want to train them to. Let's take that. Let's take that hit. Get the graphics and the uh, sound up some. Alright, that works. Get back out of here. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Because the game's direction and genre match, educational has increased to level two, which is fantastic. We've also discovered some new tricks, giving us an additional two points to allocate to the game's direction. Phenomenal. Phenomenological. We're probably going to hire somebody else here in a while, but for now... three coder he is gonna get expensive I, mean, I can tell that Let's see here level one I should level you up too it's gonna get expensive it's okay that's good for now because the game's direction and type match pirate has increased to level two Good. I'm very happy over that. Should we be hiring anyone? Let's do a word of mouth. It's going to work really good last time. Really starting to start working on the graphics. 
All right, who do we have as graphic designers? Gilly Bates really needs to go up in that. Uh, kind of. You know what? Let's 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 do this. Let's do this. Let's see how this goes. Wow. That was really rad. Alright, who do I got? Two applicants, who should we hire? Enderoid. <laughs> oh my god, I, I love that name so very much. Oh man, I'm gonna drain everything. Decoder, oh yeah. Okay, graphics 36, man. Oh, I can only hire one of you right now. Let's do you. Thanks, you can count on me. Hope so. Alright. Yes, I want to quit hiring for now. There's my new employee. And my cat scratching on my chair. That's what this... You know what this needs, Luna? This needs... A cat running around. Putting fur in the drives. A representative from Game Dex just asked us if we want to have a booth at the show. What? Okay, this is cool. Game companies from all over use Game Dex as an opportunity to show off their games. Can I actually go to convention? I think it would be a great chance to increase our sales. Oh my god! <sighs> Don't hire anyone booth type. Oh my god. Okay, hire a guest star. What? This is insane! See, I wish this was something I knew ahead of time that I could do this sort of thing. Oh my god, use costumes. Don't hire anyone. I can't attend the show. Oh, that kills me. I see. I thought it would be a good chance to get our name out there, but yeah. But I uh, ho hope we'll be able to attend next year. Well, now that I know that, yeah. Good Lord. So I do wonder if it's possible to take somebody, hit develop, and hit... Oh, I can. Let's see if we pull this off. Oh, I can't do it if I have a project in progress. Beta version, okay. Let's go with that. Wow, 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 okay. So now I'm really excited. Now I wonder, like, I, you know, there probably won't be a lot of graphic elements to them attending a show, but I do think it'd be really funny to see how that plays out. Yeah, I know. We're trying. It's coming. Oh my god. It's coming out, I swear. We're losing them fast. Yeah, they're not the only thing on fire. I want to know what these people are saying. Look, it's almost like, uh, did you get that thing I sent you? Alright, see here. Game under development is now complete, but I have 11 things to debug. Yeah, I'm not ever really... Like, why would that even be an option? I'm never going to get over that. That, to me, is just insanity. All right, let's see. God, I hope this one really sells well. Whatever happens, that'll... I'm going to probably stop the game, just keep it at the, about the hour-long runs. Our company's game number six is finally complete. The game seems to have good graphics and excellent. You say that before, and people just hate us. All right, let me ship it. Oh my God, you guys, rethink the combination. Uh, oh wait, good overall, uh, good idea, I enjoyed it. Look at you. Oh my God, you, you, you punk. All right, start advertising, start advertising, start advertising. Let's do online ads. That is a hell of a gamble there. All right, let's see how this goes. And, oh, I got a fan letter. Hello, I'm a big Rogue Studios fan. I borrowed a new game number six from a friend and tried it out. I cannot get over the fact that it's just like, game number six. I like educational games in general. And I really enjoyed that this one was a pirate game. I'm sure it's not easy work, but do your best, goodbye. Well, that's actually really nice. 
Oh man, we're growing. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, birds. All right, let's see what happens. Oh there, oh, there we go. Game six is now on sale. Come on, bring in that money. Let's do this. All right, while we're doing this, 29,615 units. Number 20 dropped a little bit. Yeah, no joke, I'm trying. Um, let's just go ahead and start contract real quick while we're waiting. Let's do some game scenario. We're gonna accept that one. Deadline's in 10 weeks, cool. We'll do something while this is going through. Oh Lord, Biggs, what do you need? Sure. I'm gonna go a little higher on this one here though. Let's go ahead and do 47 on this. So you don't bump this up. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. Oh, sweet. Look at that. I'm so grateful for that. Oh, my God. Whoa, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. That did pay off. My God, that was so nice. My God, look at the overkill on this thing. This is insane. Oh, man. This, I remember tried, I tried playing Madden and managing a team, and then I even tried the career path in, like, a WWF game, and I just didn't really enjoy it half as much as I'm enjoying this, and it's blowing the Sims out of the water. The work for the game scenario job is not complete. We should submit it to the client. Yeah, six weeks early. Thank you. We'll definitely work together again. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Get another job going here real quick while we wait for this to finish up. Ooh, I kind of wonder. Uh, you know what? I'm willing to take this on. Eight weeks. Can we do it? I think we can. Let's do this. I'm going to be nervous the whole damn time. <laughs> All right, you guys are killing it so far. Seven weeks, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Let me see here. Do I have an item? What I'm wondering is, do I have an item? Um, action item? I do. Let's do this. Dead bull. All right, receive more research data. Awesome, awesome. Okay, only 76,631 units were sold. But that's not bad. Got five weeks to go, guys. Come on, man. Don't let me down, guys. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Oh, Lord. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, this is nail biting. This is nail biting. Four weeks. We're getting down to three weeks, aren't we? Three weeks. Holy crap. We're going to miss. Oh, Lord. We're going to miss, aren't we? Yeah, you do. You do, because we I may mean, not have a choice here. And I'm really going to go heavy hardcore in this one. Let's see here. We're going to do 80%. Please don't fuck this up. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. So that boosted our creativity, which should hopefully seal that one off. Man, talk about taking some crazy, crazy, crazy chances on this. Creativity went up by 18, which is going to... Oh, this is going to be so damn tight on that. Uh, looks like the job will end pretty quickly. I hope so. we still got three weeks left on music, though. Come on, come on, come on. Break, bring this out. Bring this out. Come on, guys. Got two weeks to do this. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, we got a thousand dollars. That's nice. Yes, I do. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, let's do a little bit of advertising. Um, I'm going to do a demo distribution. That worked out really well. All right, the growth is really good. advertising over here. Jesus! That's so freaking hilarious. Alright, let's do... Let's do a contract. Let's do... Uh, let's do movie CGI as the last one here. Deadline is in 10 weeks. 
I love this. I love this game so much. It's, it's basically another sim game, very little action, but just even getting into it. I think it's more, if you're playing the game, you get more invested in it. It is definitely a time suck. Um, oh, it's time for the Global Game Awards. Well, so we're going to end on this one here. Let's see what this is. They'll be giving us a number of awards to games to release this year. Rogue Studios has one game up for consideration. I hope we win. Let's go to the awards ceremony. Same place, same people. <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. First up is Best Graphical Design. The Best Design Award with a reward of 100,000K. Intendro, The Legend of Helga won an award. 100,000 Best Music Award. There is a lot of little uh, Tamagotchi, Tagamoki, Sony. <laughs> 500K Runner Up Award. Battle Frogs from Lamo Games. Before we award the grand prize, which is announce the worst game award with a penalty of 300k. Oh my god, why? Alpha Man won an award. Try not to receive that one again. The grand prize. This year's Global Game Awards prize goes to. What's this? Mrs. Hackman won an award from Heart Dink. They will also receive an, an award of 1 million. Whether you received an award or not, we hope you'll keep keep at it for next year. Until then, good luck and good gaming. Whoa, that is insane. Okay, that's really crazy. You know, the crazy thing is during this time, you still have to be advertising and talking about stuff. So I'll go ahead and do one more bit of advertising. Action, advertise, do more magazine ads. Not terrible. Not terrible. Now I'm really interested in wanting... I've got to save enough money to be able to pay everybody and also be able to make it to that show next year, which would be really cool. Isn't that weird? That's It's so meta. It's not even funny talking about it like that. Oh, man. I totally like... I totally phase this. Okay. Oh, yeah. Please, please, please do something amazing. Yes. Oh, God. 76,000. Okay. That's fine. Let me see how far I can push this up. 80 is where the height is. This should be enough. Oh my god, thank you. I'd hate spending that much and all that other stuff on there and not be able to get it up that high. I'd be like, oh god, this is terrible. Oh, I think I got this. I think I got this. It's finished. Alright, so now we just gotta finish the music. Which should be knocked out here in four weeks, no problem. Yes, yes, you should. Oh, man, if only getting paid from clients was this easy. Okay, so... Once again, this has been a blast. I will definitely be coming back to this one, adding this into the gameplay for a lot of the other uh, playlists. Or adding this game into the round of playlists. Because I'm definitely going to stick with this. And I guess there's a series of these games. But this has been amazing fun i'm into year five month one four weeks in one thousand eight hundred fifty dollars and thirty cents i think <laughs> i think that's right i know that's not one million eight hundred fifty eight thousand point three k i know that um this has been really rad this has really really been rad so with that i'm gonna go ahead and and check and and, and check out I, this has been i love these games but my god they can. I could be here eight, nine hours if I didn't really have anything else to do. Oh my god, I love this so very much. And it's just, it's just relaxing enough. But at the same time, you also kind of freak out. They, there's like a perfect balance in there when a project is getting done. And being a freelancer, you do have those moments where you're like, geez, I gotta get this done, but this has to happen too. And then like, you end up using books and all kinds of like notepads to like organize things. It's just crazy, but I love it. I love this so, so very much. Thanks for watching, guys. I keep forgetting to introduce myself. I am Mario the Artisan Rogue. You can find me anywhere on social media if you look up Artisan Rogue or The Artisan Rogue. And I appreciate all of you that have subscribed and follow me on here. That's wonderful and fantastic. I hope you enjoy this playthrough because I'm really enjoying this. I want to see how far I can go with this before, my, and I'll probably end it when my game, when my gaming company fails. So I'd love to see how far I can go in this. I'll catch you in the next playthrough and in the next episode of uh, Game Developer Story. Take care.